this is now a much happier place. A place where demons were exorcised. And now it feels like a second home. Like it did against Biarritz. Will it be a second trophy? Josie on standing at fly half for this move. So that is short if required. Palouse coming with him. Yeah, they're going short with the hooker and the captain. Another penalty, says Nigel Owens. Just a bit too eager there at the breakdown, Munster. First clear chance, but not the first points. Long way back to Elisard, it's the Gary Owen. And it's Hurley looking to take control, but he's not taken the ball. Josion used his height well. Kunavori there as well. Elisard now going for the drop goal. He's running back to halfway. He's decided it's over. And so does Nigel Owens. Makes up for the penalty miss. Ogara down the middle. To poke, he's not the tallest. In fact, he's not going to even challenge there. Dongi off the wing. Constant threat against London Irish. Yves Dongi in the semi final. Little chip there from Josion. That's what he loves to do. And he's very good at it as well. Josion carries. Quinlan can't hold him. Jean Bouillot to lose, starting to get into their stride. Always looking for that offload. Kelleher. Little chip is from Palouse. Now it's very interesting because it's in behind. Using his strength, Kelleher to Elisard to Albacetti. This is turning now into a very impressive start from the French team. Don't quite have the weight of points to show for it yet. De Sautois, what was it, 37 tackles from him in that France-New Zealand game here. Here's Elisard, who ran the ball out at the end of that game, but he can't supply another three points here. O'Callaghan, another drive. Hayes is there, Wallace, Leamy. Stay back! Little dummy from Leamy, little stretch from Leamy! Oh, Dennis Leamy! I'm not gonna guess that! Has he got the first one? That's what it's here Has he scored on the day in the season that matters Time most? Derek, can you hear me? Over to Derek Bevan. Tell me Dennis Leamy yes looks so absolutely obvious. certain that he's just got the tip of the ball down. He's in control there. No, he has not. Well, to me, he's lost control. OK. Unconclusive. Gone forward. Scrum five. Defending ball. Crowd don't like it, but I think Derek Bevel has been absolutely correct in that call there. It looked to me like the ball definitely slipped away from Leamy's hand. Can anybody find a way? O'Connell might be the man! Away, lads, that move! Oh, oh. Wallace in there, O'Leary too. Push back, it's Leamy who's arrived. Get back! Back! O'Connell was so close. And still is. What's the knock on for me, boys? What's behind you? Yeah? Hurley the fullback with him. Line. It's clear what Munster want to do here. That's commit everybody to this moment to score! No doubt about that one in Limerick or Cardiff. I think it's Leamy. That's how to make up for it. Well, it was so important for Munster to come away from this concerted period of pressure with something because had they gone backwards, gone in at half time 3 0 down, there would have been some gremlins even in Munster's head. But that now is Munster's way of saying, OK, Toulouse, you had the, fourth, the first quarter. The second quarter is belonging to us, and we have the first try. And Rodan O'Gara with the inevitable two points. And that is what it's all about on this day. It's great work from Paul O'Connell there and Quinlan. The two guys on the right-hand side, like a phalanx, protecting Leamy. 
Look at Quinlan there. It stops Josie on getting in. It stops Sowerby getting there. And it means Leamy can touch down safely this time. What about two? So that's not the best. Here's O'Leary, very quick. Is that a bit high? O'Leary was stooping and the referee deems the tackle was OK. Two loss for Servat in a few minutes. Wallace, maybe Wallace looking for that Wait, offload. And he's got a penalty in front of the post. Reasonable distance, but one that shouldn't worry Ogara. This is the chance. And it's a chance that has been taken by Ronan Ogara. He's done that all season, come off that wing with great effect. But he's not on the wing now, and Hayes realises that and has to smother Heymans. Savat off the floor. Palouse, little reverse ball to Guio. What a fine footballer Palouse is with his hand, so comfortable. Here comes El Assad and Munster on the wrong side. Fairly central, that will help. And distance was not a problem. El Assad gets it there, how important will that be? Three points big, good timing from the crowd. Right. Flannery, O'Leary, Maffi, new to Pokey will be there. Is that forward to Howlett? Yes, it is. Whistle's gone. Howlett's going to be called back. Oh, from his point of view, what a shame that would have been a scintillating finish. I'm not sure the tacklers had heard the whistle, but it's not going to count. And to Pokey. That's forward. It's tight, but tight doesn't matter. It is forward. He's put the boot out. Obviously, I don't know what's happened before. Right. Because of the boot, I would say yellow card. Yellow okay, card. Because of the boot. I'm giving. Well, touch judge Nigel Whitehouse has taken Nigel Owens down the route of a card here. We don't know what's happened before, but Dory actually is out of the boot, and it has to be dealt with with what we see. That is what we see, Terminus. Captain's gone for ten minutes. There's a flick between Quinlan and Palouse, and there's a kick up the backside, and that is not a yellow card. Well, there's three points on the uh, board now. Three extra points for Munster. And the bonus of the extra man. And the 16th man. Right now, Munster have the advantage. Stay back, man. Go back. Levy. O'Leary. In the stringer shirt. And the stringer himself would have been proud of that. But Heymans is up and running very quickly and taking his own kick. That's brilliant from Heymans, now he's chipped again. It's all hands to the pump here, chipped on once more, and it's going to be an incredible try for Dongi. That is a brilliant score in any game, let alone a final. And the Toulouse fans have every right to go berserk. Homage to their fullback Cedric Heymans. Yayan said at half-time he's always willing to give it a go. Munster thought he was shaping for the high ball, but no, he was going to be more audacious than that. We talk about the fact he's got a driver, suddenly he find the little chip kick. This is wonderful. First of all, he goes to himself. There's two Munster chasers. You don't take it on there. Does he get the slightest deflection? I don't know, but he gets a wonderful pickup. Glorious kick in field. The pressure is on Josie on chase. And Dongi, who's had a traumatic afternoon, benefits. Brilliant play off the left foot. Josion puts the pressure on Ogara, and the left wing scores. To lose, we asked about their metal. There's your answer. Alisar with a conversion to level the scores. Flying in the face of the absence of Palouse in the sim. Bin. Cedric Heymans, what bravado, what style. The news for Munster is that there's no hint of a turnover and it's the halfbacks. Drill it downfield through O'Gara. Heyman's going for the long drop goal off that left boot. And Hurley has all the time in the world to make the catch and go for the 22.
back there now. There he is. Haymans. The man with the Midas touch. Good hands. Dongi Nyanga and here's Nyanga. Pushing his way past O'Leary. Keller. Elisard made us calling for it. He's got Kunavori with him. Kunavori cuts the line. Can he get it inside to show he can? These are desperate tackles now from Munster. Keller out to Elisard. He's going cross field and he's not struck it at all well. And it's Marcus Horan. Loves to score on the wing. Now he's covering in the wing position. And he's also looking for something a la Cedric Haymans, but not this time, Horan. And there's a penalty after Munster did try something a little bit cheeky through Quinlan. Works. Well, to lose will be ruining the quality of the kick from John Baptiste Alisal, or should I say the absence of quality. Some great maturity in his game, as he did a couple of years ago, when he just burst on the scene. Along the line now, the Munster line to O'Connell. All patched up and raring to go for the final push for a second trophy inside three seasons. Flannery. Advantage. Penalties coming. Advantage. Toss O'Leary wants it. The Munster weather the storm and they come back with a penalty. Is it three points for Munster? Yes, it most certainly is. There's a great drive from the Toulouse pack. And Assad up quickly was O'Gara and Wallace was there as well. You can see Leamy's number eight jersey bending over, trying to turn the ball over. Gives it to Wallace and then Quinlan. Marvellous work from the back row to Pokey onto Maffey. Little show. This could be absolutely amazing. Oh, Maffey's lost it and he had support either side, right and left. Oh, that was the trophy, you know. And Munster, the broken field they've exploited so well this season with Maffey and Topoki running so well. But this time, that's a little bit speculative. I think perhaps Paul O'Connor would think, fine, you made the break, don't go for 50-50 offloads now. And it's the tap to count down the seconds. Munster, who always know what to do. to overtime and it's all over and it's Munster over that line again the one they simply could not cross and now the one they have crossed for a second time in three seasons. And the Heineken 